Yeah, offensively, um, pleased with a lot of things we did. Um, thought we sustained drives for the most part pretty well. Um, I thought our offensive line played tremendously. Um, receivers and quarterbacks, we need to continue to get on the same page, but I thought it was a pretty good start, and we're going to keep improving as we gain confidence and kind of experience. thought the running backs ran extremely well. I mean, I thought there was a lot good to take away from it, but still a lot of improvement. Yeah, um, well, with our receivers, I'm, I, I kind of just told them I'm going to throw it to spots and uh, um, just rip it. And so some of those times it's going to get me in trouble, but other times it's going to be a nice play. So, And not that you want to you know, see if you can make that throw. I mean, I, I felt confident making the throw. Just like I said, just continue to get on the same page, whether it's you know me leading them back down their stem a little bit more, them coming back to me a little bit more, or you know spacing out our routes a little bit better, or just you know, hitting them a little better. So there's a lot of improvement we can make, but um, uh, it, it's nothing major. I think we'll, we'll clean it up right away. You had a couple of runs. Uh, that 21 yarder that was on their sideline over there where they flipped you and it seemed like you hit your uh, left shoulder pretty hard. Did you have any uh, soreness there the next day? I actually didn't really hit my left shoulder there. Uh, I kind of just twisted and landed on my back, but I felt great, really. I, I was like, I was smiling getting up after my first hit just because it felt so good. And uh, then I was maybe a little too reckless running after that kind of felt too in invincible. But uh, it, again, it felt really good to, you know, take those hits. And uh, but again, my body felt good. But I, I need to be a little bit smarter on some of those runs. You know, every time you take one of those hits, there's just thousands of IU fans that are holding their breath anytime you're running. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that might be the case. But I just kind of think of my mom probably holding her breath more than anybody. Got, they had a couple of 11-point leads. Did, did you guys feel a bit of urgency in terms of, you know, hey, fellas, we got to score, or we have to score consistently? Uh, yeah, we knew we had to score. But at the same time, there was never any panic. I mean, at halftime, we just talked, hey, guys, we're going to run these plays. We're going to do what we do. We're going to complete them and score. And right out of halftime, hit one to Ricky. So that was great. But uh, I, yeah, there was never panic, uh, especially, you know, in, in the offensive room uh, defense, they were very calm too. We just knew we had to start playing together and um, be on the same page. But well, yeah, there was never any panic. We always felt we were going to win and uh, eventually came out on top. Speaking of Ricky, how gratifying was it to see him have a real breakout game like that? <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Ricky's the man. Uh, and this is what I've seen all camp. We've been connecting like this since summer. Really a lot in spring ball we were connecting too. So it was cool to have him you know, get out there and. Uh, do what he's shown in practice and do that on the big stage. And uh, it's only the beginning for him. He's going to have a really big year. You had to do this Saturday as well, but talk about the 71 yarder now that you've seen that on film, uh, the setup for winning points. Talk about that play. Yeah, well, first of all, it was an unbelievable play by Ricky because the play before he ran a go ball and I, I kind of came off him too quick. And, uh, so, and then he came back and we tempoed the uh, go ball the next play and he took off. I saw him get a little separation and I just, cranked it and tried to give it some air for him to run under it. And he made a great play on the ball. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was pretty cool to watch on film, um, just kind of the ball go in orbit a little bit. But he, uh, yeah, he made an unbelievable adjustment to the ball and it made me look good there. The, uh, I'm assuming you, you've in particular looked at <coughs> Florida International's film. I know defensively they're pretty stout. They get after the quarterback. It's just kind of, what have you seen from them so far? Yeah, they look very aggressive. Um, a lot of quarters, um, uh, uh, their cornerbacks make good plays on the ball. They get after the quarterback, like you said. They're going to try to stop our run, which uh, with our offensive line, I feel very good about. But we're going to have to be able to pass the ball outside and uh, connect on one-on-one -on -one matchups. So it's going to be a great test. It's similar to, similar to a lot of defenses we've seen before, kind of in the Big Ten. But uh, yeah, we have our work cut out for us. Is this, is this a game where you know, we've talked about the difference in, in having maybe more of a power back mentality with Devine and, and Jordan this year, where having really physical guys in the backfield can help a little bit just because they are going to load up a little bit against mm -hmm. the Lakers? Yes, having Jordan and Devine, that one-two punch is awesome. And really, it's our offensive line. Our offensive line, and I, I didn't say it earlier, but I didn't get touched for a sack or anything like that because our line did such a great job. 
but they're, they're such a physical, they have such physical presence up there and, uh, at the line of scrimmage, kind of controlling it that, you know, they make enough of a hole to where guys like Jordan and Devine, who are pretty powerful, can get us three or four yards on first down instead of, you know, a one-yard gain or a negative play. So that really helps and opens up our playbook a lot to where second down and third down, it's kind of shorter and more manageable to where we can, you know, we have a lot of plays that we like to do in those situations. So, yeah, they're going to be big for us. What did it mean at the end of the day, it being a W? After, you know, things obviously went awry and what didn't go as expected, you know, in some ways. Uh, you guys played from behind part of the day. <clears throat> what did it mean to have it be a W instead of an L at the end of the day? I mean, ultimately, that's, that's all that matters is, I mean, at the end of the season, you're going to see, hey, they won that game, not particularly in the fashion that we did. And that's not the way uh, that we want to win uh, games and that we feel we're capable of playing. But at the same time, like Coach said, you know, every win is precious. Every win, you know, means a lot. And uh, you can't take it for granted. But at the same time, we, we hold ourselves to a higher standard. But it was good to see that we can fight and battle and, you know, face adversity. And, you know, there's going to be a lot of close games this fall. And we're, uh, it was good to see that we could pull one out. With that, where was morale the last couple of days with these guys? I mean, are you kind of at a point where you can maybe bounce back from a loss or a win like that, uh, maybe a little more naturally? Absolutely. Um, I mean, obviously, getting the win makes the morale a little higher than obviously if, if it was a loss. But guys definitely feel, you know, a sense of urgency that hey, we 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 need to play better than we have. Um, but I mean, like you said, we'll we'll, we'll bounce back, and um, you know, everybody. The theory is that you get a lot better from week one to week two. So uh, we, we're really planning on that, and we, we have in years past. So, um, yeah, we, we're kind of just focused on Florida and National now. Hey, Coach, you said in our post game, we asked about you and leadership situation that the guys were in. He said uh, he was always giddy and talking about the fact that you came to the sideline, you were telling him what you wanted to do, things like that, not in a demanding way, but in a way that, that he was very Yes. Well, yeah, Coach uh, for, for a long time has wanted me to be more demanding, but I didn't think of it like just pleasing him. I just kind of prepared for the game as much as I could. And I saw pretty much the first drive, they kind of did what we expected, and we marched right down the field. Then they changed up their defense all the way. So I just came to the sideline. I was like, hey, Coach, to this formation, they're not doing what we expected. So let's run this, this, and this, and we'll, we'll get down the field. And, you know, just kind of a – committee between him, myself, and Coach Johns, um, just kind of seeing what we were saying. And the receivers were saying, hey, they're sitting on this, or, you know, I can beat them on this. So there was just good communication all around. And I just, I knew what I didn't like, and I knew what I was liking. So uh, just having that communication, he trusted my point of view, being, you know, with the best view on the field. So um, it, I was glad that he, you know, listened to me, and I thought it was a good, uh, good working relationship. Touchdown! Wow, wow!